yeah, that's not bad. Rotating it. Hi there, it's my Android heat unit, and I've just downloaded this CIGIC GPS navigation and maps. So let's open it. Uh, I'm not too sure how it works on the Android heat unit, but I think it works fine on any tablets or Android hit handphones. Yeah, so let's wait for it to start. Alright, starting. Um, first of all, you can change the vehicle icon by tapping on the navigation icon. Okay, so let's close this. So I'm now downloading the Malaysia map. I think this is for the offline map. So once you have downloaded it, then you don't need to always on your you know hotspot to connect to this uh, Android hit unit. And of course, if you have a 4, 4G SIM card in here, then you don't have to keep on downloading you know, the maps uh, when you're moving. So, okay, so let's click on this part and you can have a premium, or well, this is a premium plus, yeah, meaning that you gotta pay extra for this kind of features, yeah. Uh, real view and navigation, dash cam, sign recognition, head up display, uh, sounds off, that you also you need to pay so you can't you can off the sound if you have this okay so to switch to driving change the vehicle icon you can tap here and you can choose whether you're driving a sedan mpv or a race car well i think mine it's a suv uh, somewhere around here but I got to subscribe to the premium to unlock all the features. So it's, it's, it's I'm done with this. Yeah, I, I'm always stuck with this icon. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it looks okay. So next would be again yeah, nothing much to do here. Uh, how about this? This is the speed camera. Oh, this is a report. So sorry, I actually reported there's a speed camera nearby. So you can report there's a speed camera, police, traffic, accident, closure, or school zone. Uh, so that the people who are, uh, the other people who are using the CIGIC map would also get to know that uh, this area will have this type of problems happening. So it's very close to what Waze and Google Maps is doing. Um, let's click here instead. So this is to get yourself signed in. You know, first of all, you have to be a, start an account with them. This is to manage the maps. So right now, I only have a Malaysia map, which is still downloading. Um, let's see what else you can do. So in the settings, you can actually do a road planning and navigation. So you can always change uh, from the fastest road to the shortest or to the most economic. Uh, you, you don't have to pay any toll yeah, using this. So what else? Um, so you can also have road options. Oops. Oh, okay, road options. You can always avoid the highways, meaning you go through the small lanes or small roads. Yeah, avoid toll roads. Okay. Avoid congestion, charges zone, charge zones. Okay. Uh, in Malaysia, we have not that. Uh, we don't have this yet. In Singapore, there is. Yeah, I do believe. Um, avoid ferries. Okay and avoid unpaved roads okay what else navigation options driving mode it can be 3d mode 2d mode uh, i think 2d mode will be faster rendering rendering otherwise 3d will be sl slower in, in in fact if you have a very good hardware you know just go with the 3d mode yeah um auto zoom on the off it zoom controls okay and all this uh, premium plus means you have to pay for it. Current okay, US compass appearance. Okay, so I'm not in US, so I don't need to see this. Um, picture in picture navigation. Okay, and what else? Exits. Okay, show extra exits on a highway. Okay, so what else? Language and um, okay, so you can have multiple languages. Uh, mine should be in. I, I normally use English, American English. Um, of course, they have Malaysia and Bahasa Indonesia, and uh, 
name it. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Almost every. Yep. Instruction and songs. You can only change it if you have a premium plus. Okay. So notifications as well. You can't choose to enable or off it. The units. Yes, I can still change it. Distant units from mouse to km. Yeah. This is to show the 3D buildings. You could have off it if you if you don't need it, or if your your head unit is not uh, what you call it. Um, the specs is not good enough. Yeah, you can off it. This is some time format. You can just follow the system, and GPS coordinates will be in degrees. Color schemes switch automatically according to the time. Yeah, that will be good. Lock rotation, system default, full screen. Yeah, of course, always full screen. If not, then I got this. Yeah, full screen would be nice. Um, map font size, larger. Yeah, larger would be good. Uh, weak icon. Yeah, this need to pay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next, um, view type. It's always not to gas right now. Okay, so if you're not driving a gas uh, vehicle, then you need to pay for this. Yeah. Offline maps, uh, downloading. Okay. Then you can have three maps updates per year. Mm, that's not bad. So if there's any changes, you would change uh, you know, every four months. Yeah, around there. So yeah, speed cameras. Right now, you can only on and off it. You cannot adjust the notifications. Okay. And this is the backup and restore. This is nice. So if you have a Dropbox account, you can just you know back it up into your Dropbox. And you can also restore it. You know, having all the settings done. Okay, I think I most probably covered everything in the settings. Oops. So. Let's click here again. Travel book. Uh, I think I can't do anything. Still need to pay for that. Have a feedback. Sigic store. Okay, meaning that you can actually get the premium plus from here to activate the license. And this is the sign recognition. Uh, sorry, need to pay that as well. Okay. Android Auto. So yeah, that's nice. If you have an Android phone, you can set up in your Android Auto. Yeah, nice. Okay, then you have view log and course. Okay, I think this is separate, uh, separate app. Yeah, by the same developer. Oh, well, I don't need this. I think the rest is the same as well. These are all um, not really. Oh, this is EV mode. Okay, so you can activate it or not. And this is travel. I think it's another app as well. Other than that, um, what is this? Help nearby. Okay, so I gotta wait until it's downloaded, and it will tell me what the emergency contacts, where's the nearest gas stations, and so on. Very good. Okay, I think I've covered most of it. Photo navigation, what is that? Um, yeah, so it depends on whether uh, users have actually, you know, post anything onto this uh, app. If not, you won't be able to see anything. So I'll just wait for it to download. Let's wait. Okay, I think it's already downloaded. Let me just go here, click on the manage maps, and update. Yep. Yeah updating the map now so I just wait and of course you can see your free space here which is nice yeah uh, this is only 200 over meg so it's about 10% of what I have right now so it should be fine updating takes quite a while I've waited about 10 minutes now it's still updating uh, I thought this once it's downloaded it should be quite fast but I think we just gotta wait yeah okay it's now done and I think by going back here should load the map yep 
Yep. Um, oh, I'm not supposed to pinch. Okay, so I gotta click here. And yeah, all right. That's my fault, yeah. But uh, I, I would like to prefer the pinching style, yeah. But anyway, this is 2D, this is 3D, and the extra large uh, fonts are really annoying actually. Like, I, I think I should just make it smaller. Um, we can recenter here. This is where am I right now? Okay. So say I want to go somewhere. Okay, I'll CC. Okay, that's quite fast. Um, it finds the place for me quite fast as well. So let's get the directions. Let's see whether you have a few roads for me to choose or just one. Because I'm now online, it should be able to find alternative roads for me, which is faster or cheaper. But it's actually quite slow, yeah. Uh, loading the road. Okay, there you go, just one. And this traffic is part of the what premium plus? What does it mean? <laughs> I gotta unlock it to see that word. I don't know. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, let's say I start. Okay, so this is where I am right now, and uh, this is how I would go, you know, to get to the place I want. Let's come back here. Oh, I think I can't. So 2D will be like this, and uh, coming here, this will be the road, okay, or route, whatever you call it. This is Port. Yeah, actually, you know, once it's downloaded, it's actually quite fast. Yeah, and uh, once it's loaded the area that I am right now, then you know, uh, uh, browsing around should be quite fast as well. So, okay, so that's that's about it. You know, Sigic uh, map. I think it's good. Yeah. Um, and it's quite comprehensive and the map is very detailed as well uh, nothing to complain yeah just that a lot of features are being you know blocked by not you know subscribing to the premium plus but that's it's okay you know uh, I still get to get to the place I want and I can use it as an offline map which is good yeah the thing, the only thing I feel it should improve on maybe is the pinching and the pinching part, yeah, where I can zoom in and zoom out uh, from directly from there. So otherwise, yeah, I think it's okay. So, oh, and look at that. Those are the three buildings, yeah, not bad. So now I'm at the two D mode. I can still see the buildings, just that you know from the top, uh, but size view, I think. Um, and this is 2D, or this 3D, yeah, this 3D. And how do I hide this? Just by clicking here. Yeah, just by clicking here, you should hide it. And check out the. Oops, how do I? How do I do this? Yeah, and check out the details of the buildings, which is pretty nice. Yeah, uh, this is the KLCC. Let's go out a little bit. Yeah, so. I think I can rotate it by doing this. Yeah, that's not bad. Rotating it and uh, pinching it doesn't help, so I can just do this. And uh, not bad. Yeah, and it looks quite, quite, quite detailed. All right, and this is the Manara, Kuala Lumpur. This is the KLCC and all the condominiums and the commercial offices around surrounding it. Okay, I think that's about it. You know, I wouldn't want to waste so much time looking at this. That's all. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this, help me, uh, you know, click on the subscribe button and of course the like button as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.